Hey guys. YouTube, I'm gonna show y'all today how to uh, replace your def pump uh, or your def uh, sensor, heater sensor assembly. This is a Mercedes Sprinter. This is actually a 2012 uh, Winnebago Rayo, or actually Itasca Rayo. Um, if you have a Winnebago view, it's pretty much the same thing. I think probably from like 2011 to 2016 or so, they'll all be pretty much the same. 3.0 Mercedes diesel chassis. Uh, some places you may have read that you have to remove the front bumper to get to the DEF tank. You do not. All you have to do is remove the right headlight. And there are four. One, two, three, four. There are three, or excuse me, four T30 Torx bolts that hold those on. Now the front, the top two are pretty easy to get out. The bottom two, you're gonna have very little room to get in there's not much space to squeeze between the bottom of the headlight and the fender or the, the bumper so you're gonna have to use a quarter inch uh, extension with a t30 socket on it to get to the bottom two and it's gonna be really tight and you may want to have something underneath the uh, RV while you're doing this because they're gonna drop somewhere and nine times out of ten you're not gonna find where they're at unless you have a rag or something laying down there. I would not do this on the grass because Murphy's Law says you'll drop a bolt you'll never find it if you do it on the grass or gravel. I'm on uh, concrete. Once you have this off the, the def tank is, is completely visible in here. It's a 5.8 gallon tank on these Mercedes RV chassis and there's a bunch of wiring connectors you have to take off. They're not that difficult. You know, pop those loose. You might need a screwdriver to get a few of them loose. You pop these little, these little uh, locking clips back with a screwdriver, and then you pull this out. Uh, the actual def pump itself only has three bolts. There's two here, and one right here in the back. Those are going to be four millimeter Allen's. And what I did was I went to uh, Harbor Freight. They sell one of these screwdriver bit kits. It's awesome for doing stuff like this. And uh, I just had a uh, screwdriver that holds these bits. And this right here is actually the four millimeter. That's the easiest way to get in down in here with these is with this to get those out of there. Then that'll just lift off. And then there's a ring, if you can see it here. There's a locking fuel ring right here. And there's a special tool that I ordered on Amazon. It's made by KD or Lyle makes another tool like that. And <clears throat> basically that'll prevent you from breaking the tabs off when you try to unscrew this. When you order the new DEF heater assembly, it's gonna come with a new lock ring. So it's not a huge deal, but just to save any aggravation it's the special tool has these locking tangs that come over like this and then the top of it has like a 3 8 drive you can put a ratchet on it and loosen it that way that's the easiest way to do it now when you go to put the the def pump back in and unfortunately i've already done the process but when you go to take this ring off and you've got the ring all the way off there's a rubber seal that sits below this, below the ring, like this. There's a rubber seal. You're going to want to basically get your fingers in there or a screwdriver and pull this rubber seal out. And then the def pump itself is going to sit below this rubber seal. And you have to, it's actually locked in the bottom of the tank. So what you have to do is, is uh, rotate it like an eighth of a, of a turn to the left. And you'll hear it unlock and then it pulls straight up. So if you pull this rubber seal out and you can't figure out why the pump isn't coming out, 
It's because you haven't you haven't loosened it yet. You have to twist it eighth of a turn to the left and pull it straight up. You can remove the def pump from here without dropping the tank. But I found for me it was easier to drop the tank. There's three bolts. There's one down there you can see right here. 13 millimeter. Right there. And then underneath the RV, yours is probably very similar. There's a 17, or excuse me, an 18 millimeter right here. And then there's another 13 right there. You'll need an extension for that one. And you'll have to remove, if yours has the little flaps right here like mine does, the little fender flaps. These are just little regular Phillips head. Take those off. And then you can drop the tank down once the three bolts are out. I highly recommend, if you can, to somehow drain the tank before you drop it. Because with if it's full, at almost six gallons, it's going to be 40-something pounds of uh, liquid. And also, it's almost impossible to not spill some while you're working on this. You're going to want to hose it off as soon as you can because death is very corrosive. It won't hurt you like if you spill some on yourself, but you don't want it on metal because it will occur the metal. And when I dropped the tank, I basically just disconnected this fill pipe that's coming from the top. And this hose right here, which, which I believe might be a vent, I think it's related to the vent, is nearly impossible. The connector down here it's almost impossible to get off. So I left it on and what I ended up doing to drop the whole tank down to the ground was I came up here where the fill is and there's another another uh, torque set right here the same size as the headlights T30. One here, one here, and one here. And that basically is the bracket that holds the filler tube on. So I took those three out and then I just pushed the filler tube down through the top so they could come off with the whole tank. Because if you try to remove this uh, vent tube, you're gonna end up breaking it because it's, it's really hard to, to mess with. There's probably a special tool Mercedes sells for $2,000 or something, you know, something crazy. Which by the way, I, I, uh, I priced, it was 1,500 bucks for the def heater at Mercedes. I got it for 200 bucks on eBay. Make sure that you order the correct DEF heater and DEF pump because this is what they call the MH code, which is a motorhome chassis. If you order a regular Sprinter 3500, it's going to be too short. The actual sensor and the uh, heater assembly, it'll be too short. It won't fit in the tank right. So you have to make sure that you order the one. And actually, I might even have the part number for the motorhome yeah it's a Bosch F01C600228 that's the one you're gonna need should fit like 2011 to 2016 motorhome Mercedes 3500 I think that's it comments or questions let me know but you do not have to drop the bumper this job if you're inclined like I am will take you about two to three hours. Now, when I go back, when I go to put the bottom two headlight bolts in, they're gonna wanna fall off of this, uh, I can almost guarantee you, they're gonna wanna fall off of my adapter here, the T30, because I have so little room in here to work with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use five minute epoxy, and I'm literally gonna epoxy the bottom two as I do them bolts to the t30 and then as i screw them in there it'll just break off whenever i'm already there i just need something to hold it because it'll it'll try to fall if i don't have anything to hold it so that's kind of a mechanics trip there or trick there thanks for watching let me know if you have any comments